Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an interpolated animation using this interpolation system based on geometry nodes. So you will be able to create your interpolated system, control each curve, influence, delay the animation between the curves and loop or debug your animation and interpolation. So for this purpose I'm using Blender version 3.6.0. I have a project with a collection of curve paths and you can see in the layout if I disable for a moment the overlapping of the compositor editing on the viewport you can see I have these five curves on this collection and the basic the base curve that I want to use to start the animation and the goal is to create an animation that interpolate this curve along this sequence of curve until the end the last curve of this collection so the animation of this curve you can make it manually if you want or use the graph editor but it's not very easy to do where you have lots of control points for example or if you want a simple animation in which you want a simple shifting of the control points between a bunch of shapes of curves and you have not much time to spend in this purpose. So in the intro you saw a whip effect but you can use this technique for, for a whip, for the animation of a, an arm of an octopus, of a plant, of a snake of the desert and so on. So after writing some sheets of paper I put all these ideas into this workflow and this is the result. So let's get started. We have a base curve. It's curved with the two only two control points and the same for the other curves you can add whatever curves you want in these collections and you will have the interpolation between all these sequence based by the position of this curve inside this collection so keep in mind to call these curves in an easy way and if you set a value like these and if you want to insert a new curve between these two curves I suggest you to rename all this curve like this for example so this is the 100 this is 200 and so on and you can see if I want to add another curve inside this I can rename it in 250 for example to have more gap numbers between these uh, objects uh, I know it's not a perfect technique but I will not uh, resorting these curves based by for example the y-axis position for example because in some cases you want to use the origin position of the curve to get the correct animation interpolation between the curves themselves so we can start and the concept behind this is going to the geometry node system we need to add a geometry nodes on our base curve press new to create a new geometry node system and I need to draw a little bit the idea when you interpolate a shape uh, from one to another you need to keep in mind that you need to have a smoothed shifting between the shapes so the concept is is a simple so if you have curves like these and this is the basic curve you need to imagine to have three simple mix node a mix node here a mix node here and a mix node here where here we have the position of the first curve here the position of the second here the position of the third and here the position of the final curve and with this structure you can easily set zero or one for the factor you need to change influence and change the position of your based curve so the first curve here to another curve and so on to go to the last so if you use this structure in this graph you can see these are the values of the mixing nodes if I write all the values from the maximum range of the mix factor we can have I can have these values here one one zero one one and one so you can see if I have zero zero and zero the line that I used to go out and get the, the position
position is for the position zero and we have these results here if i have one for the first mixing i don't want the position of the first curve i want all the position on the second curve and next if i go here i maintain the same result because i have zero value in the second mixing and the result is this if i set one for the first mixing so this position or zero it's the same but in the second i want the second mixing if i leave one in the mix one and set one for the second mix you can see i want to have only the third curve output outside this structure because here for the third mix i have zero influence and for this reason i get this curve here if i set for all the mix nodes one i have the last curve here so with these four curves you can see with the three simple mix nodes i can pass through the curves position it's obvious if i set middle value between 0 and 1 i can have the position between the first and the second curve or between the second and the third and so on so i can have 0 0 0 0 0.5 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0.5 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0.5 and 1 1 one okay in this way you can easily see that i increase a little bit this value between these mixing nodes so you can see the value of the mix two is equal to the mix one shifted by a value to have the same increasing values here the same increasing ramp but later and mix three later in relationship with the mix two and you can imagine these in a graph like this initially there is a linear ramp but next we are going to smooth this ramp a little bit and you can imagine the mix factor of these mix nodes as as runners where everyone arrive with a, a little late compared to the next so if i have the runner one so the first mix okay it is here and next the second runner is here and the third is here and if we move all these uh, runner through this direction you can see this effect with these results we have a zero zero and zero next we have 0 0.5 0 and zero next we have one influence zero for the second zero for the third next we have one 0 0.5 0 and so on one one and one 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 0 0.5 and finally one one and one you can see these are shifting okay of the values it's very easy to do because we have frames and we can use the frame to shift the value from a ramp between 0 and 1 and if we replace this ramp in a more smoothed ramp like this and have two parameters to smooth more or less this ramp we can manipulate the interpolation in a better way and with more detail now time to create the workflow on our geometry nodes so i hide for a moment the annotation and what we need is to get the collection of the curves we need in our geometry nodes system so i can drag this collection export the collection in the group input rename the collection in curves check the relative button here separate the children otherwise blender would use all the curves as an, a single instance and we don't want this we want to separate the instances and we also need to export the reset children because in some cases like these for example if you want to have an animation based by this curve staying in the same position we need to reset the position of all these curves to have the same initial position of all these curves here in the origin point and use it for our animation however you can easily toggle these reset children to have an interpolation along the entire space where you put the curve in the 3d space so first of all we need 
to have a group here to get the correct instance curve from this collection because we need to have a different instances and to do this it's very easy to do we can use a point i don't know if there is another method to get a single instance from a collection info node if you know please uh, let me know in the comments otherwise you can use this technique it's very easy to make instance on point and from these only one count we can use these entire instances with the pick instance because we want to have the sequence the correct sequence we can select all these nodes ctrl g and we can export the number of the index we need to have in the output we need to realize these instances because we we need to have the geometry information so the control points of the curve and not the instance and from this output we have the curve from this we need to resample the curve how many time so we need to export this count because we need to resample the base curve and all the curves inside the collection with the same number of control points otherwise we can't mix the position of the base interpolating the animation through the the other curves correctly you can rename it in resolution it's an integer number it's correct you can create a dot here i add a simple index because from this curve we want for all the points what the position attribute based by the index of each single control point of the curve and we want to export this value in an output named by position and here we have the correct node press tab to exit from the group get curve position if you have this weird effect here go inside the instance select the instance index and turn off the height value to be able to manage these with the correct numeric field from outside this group node we need to export the resolution in our group node so we can set 64 for example now we have the positions of the first curve and i can get Get the position of the next and the next okay so if i set one and two and link the same instances between these nodes here can get the correct workflow like this in the meantime i can create the mix the mix vector node where we want to link the position of the original mesh with the position of the first curve duplicate this node here and another time next we want to mix this result with the position of the second curve this result with the third and so on next we are going to change the factor in a correct way with a ramp uh, in this case we have five curves so we need to duplicate this node here another time link this result to the first link the instances correctly move this down and link these to this set instances here three four to have the fifth curve we also need the resolution so i can create a dot here of this a little bit link the resolution here and make the correct linking between all the nodes of the curve now we have a zero one two three and four perfect and to the final part we need a simple set the position because we need to change the position of the original geometry to the result of these mix ramps and as described before if i set zero to all these values of the factor you can see i have the base curve alone okay this is the first curve of the collection and if i set as described in the table one in the first mix i have this result here i rename the attribute of of this resolution of this get curve position in resample count okay now you can see a problem uh, you can see we have one factor here and we should have uh, the correct position from the base curve to the first curve but it isn't why because for all these curves we have a resolution that i rename in curve resolution of 64 but for the main base curve we have only two points two control 
bullet points if I press the tab. Okay, you can see one and two. And we need to resample to also resample the original geometry. And it's very important. So we need to resample the curve and we can move these here, duplicate another time the group input, link the geometry inside the resample curve and link the curve resolution here. Use these in the set position and voila, we have the correct position on the mesh. You can move these a little bit to separate this operation from the other. Now, as described in the theory, if I set one, I can go to the second curve. I set the reset children and press one to see the result from the side. If I set one here, I have the next one, the next one and the final curve. So the, the cryptic part is how can I blend these mixing values in a smoothed way. So the trick is to use a ramp that shifts itself while the animation of the frame and to create a correct ramp in a smoothed way we can use the scene information using the frame in a map range but before this we need to add on our geom uh, group input uh, some attributes like uh, the start frame for the animation from zero, the duration of the animation from zero, so we can start from one and have a total of uh, 100 frames for the duration of the animation, but keep in mind we will have not only 100 frames in our animation because we will have the interpolation effect that can add frames to the entire duration set here and we will discuss soon so in this case i need a group input and what we want is to get the spline parameter of our base curve to get the factor from the factor we can add a value an arbitrary value that we will call the power of the blend effect so i can set here a value and from these values we have a a first map range in which we have the frame here in the value and we want to have a ramp from 0 to 1 to the output of this map range based by the minimum so the start of the animation and the start adding the entire duration of the animation to have the final number of frames as a range so from the start to the end we want a range from 0 to 1 here we have the control of a ramp from 0 to 1 while the entire animation so from 0 to 100 frames okay from 0 to 1 and next we need another map range using this result from a minimum of 0 factor to a maximum of the factor plus a value to get another time from 0 to 1 in a smoothed step so not in a linear um, uh, equation okay but in a smoothed way like an arcotangent uh, shape I can press H and increase to 0 0.5 for example this value to get this result now how to show you this result I'm going to create a curve line as a debug effect because you will probably need it to have a better control of your animation in, in the interpolation effect. So I can create curve line, I can resample in the same way of the other uh, curves, so curve resolution here. I can select all these nodes, Ctrl G to create a group node in which I can add other attributes like the vector of the base position of my curve, the maximum amplitude that I want to have on my debug curve, the maximum width of the curve to visualize the entire animation between the two points, the start and the final part of the debug curve, the resolution added before, the factor of our mixing, so the value that we want to debug on our debug curve from 0 to 1, it's obvious, and an integer for decide what the index of the curve we are debugging because next we are going to create a duplicated group node and use this index to shift the curve debug on our viewport to see all the interpolation factors of all the mixing nodes on these debug curves. 
and this is very very useful this is an integer number and this is the curve index from zero now we can set the position of these points based by what based by the factor we need uh, we need to clamp these values from zero to one to have a shrinking of the values because if i press a tab here in the mix node we have the clamp factor and this is very important because we don't want to have values below zero or above one so in this case we want the same result and we want to multiply by a arbitrary max amplitude we want to use to to show the curve values on our viewport so i can press h ctrl h now we can link this output to a combine xyz along the z axis in this case and link the vector on the offset link this geometry to the output and it's important to be sure to to use the offset and not the position because we want to maintain the rest of the curve as is now we need to get the base position from this base position we can add a combine xyz because we need to add what the maximum amplitude to separate the a curve from the others multiplying these max amplitude by the curve index so for the first index we don't have any shifting link these to the z component and from these we have the start point and from this vector we need to add another combine xyz to have the end point so the end point is on the x-axis for example by the width we have here so we can add on the x-axis this value and link this to the end and we have the correct curve in the space now I exit from this group node that I can call debug curve. We can add a Boolean attribute to show the debug. We can create a string with a little label debug like this. Right button reset to default to see the value here and move the attributes above this string line we can export the position and rename it in the bug position the amplitude and the width so this is the debug amplitude from zero the width of the debug from zero now we can add a join geometry to the final part of our workflow and add the group input linking the show debug in a switch if we want or not to have the debug bug information on our viewport so in this case if i want to show the debug i want to have the output of this debug curve otherwise we don't want any geometry and we can join these together with our interpolated curve and link these to, ge to geometry output ctrl h and h to this switch now i can set the show the bug here to see the result on the viewport i can set an amplitude of 0 0.005 and a width of 0 0.01 i link the result of our ramp smoothed ramp inside this factor and leave the curve index to zero to not have a shifting in the z axis in our viewport because here we have a curve index multiplied by max amplitude added to the original Original base position of the debug curve system press tab and now if i press play you can see the result on our curve voila this is the ramp and you can see be between 0 and 100 we have the correct result if i extend these to 200 i have an initial factor you can see the control points of the debug curve have shifted by the factor multiply in a clamp range by uh, between 0 and 1 multiply by the max amplitude so this is the max amplitude here in an offset operation here and I can move these a little bit like uh, 0.02 okay better because we have here the base uh, curve the original base curve and here the debug curve and you can see while the animation the factor okay that 
ends here on the frame 100 now why this behavior we have this behavior this ramp because here if i go to the frame one so to the start of the animation we have one frame from the start to the duration we have zero to this output zero value in this map range from a minimum value of zero factor in this point so the start point of the curve but during this entire curve we have a multiple value of the factor okay from zero to one because this is a curve and for the first control point we have zero so we have zero value here from zero to zero point five and because we have zero we have to the output zero and no offset here to better show the behavior i switch for a moment smooth step to linear in this map range and now if i increase this frame to 11 for example so 10 frames after the start we have frame 11 here and then from 1 to 101 we have what a value of this output near 0.1 what do we have in this output we have 0.1 in a range between 0 for this control point not the others but this control point 0 and 0 0.5 0 0.1 in a range from 0 and 0 0.5 is 1 divided by 5 20% so in this case we have 0 0.1 in a range from 0 and 0 0.5 and 0 0.1 in this range that goes from a range from 0 and 1 will get 0 0.2 because we have here an equivalent division of 1 divided by 5 okay if we multiply 5 by this number we get the maximum value of this range so we have a 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 20 percent is exactly 5 amplitude divided by 5 so this point for this control point if we have 0 factor and 1 factor here here we have near 0 0.1 as the factor if i have a 0 0.1 as the factor of this control point here in this range i have a range between 0 0.1 and plus 0 0.5 0 0.6 and because the input value is always the same for all the curve the control points of curve we have 0 0.1 as the input in a range between 0 0.1 and 0 0.6 and the result is 0 and this is the reason i have 0 offset here if i increase here to 50 to the middle of the animation we have for the first control point 0 0.5 because uh, we are here the fifth teeth and so from this number from this output we have a 0 0.5 but with the 0 0.5 in this map range we have a factor from 0 this control point 0 and 0 0.5 0 0.5 is the maximum value we have a 0 0.5 so the output of this map range is 1 and this is why i have the maximum amplitude here and so on for all the control points of the curve so if i increase this value you can see this result here you can you can see here we have the clamped value of one here because there is the check but also uh, not only for the this check but also because we have the clamped node here in the debug curve if i mute these go here and turn off the clamp you can see the uh, entire values on this curve so we need to clamp these values now if i set these to the smooth step i have a better smoothed ramp and if I increase or decrease this value, I have a better powering of the curve. So I'm able to decide the interpolation duration of the curve if I want to have a hard interpolation or a soft interpolation. So you can see there is a little issue in this animation because it's correct having zero value to the start of the animation, but at the end of the animation, so 100, I don't want to have zero factor as the factor of the mixing node i want to have the maximum influence so i want to end the animation and i want to put the maximum value in the mix so this value of a one and to do this we need to change these two max of the first map range including this value in fact if i decrease this to zero 
I have no problem because I have the curve very near to the end. Okay, so one for the entire curve. But if I increase this value, I have more gap here and I don't want to have this gap. To not have this gap, I need to take one. So I need to have a node like this and add to one the same value of this powering effect and use this in the two max of this value and like this if i move this down switch this and move this node a little bit i can now have an animation that starts from zero but goes to the end of the animation with the values of zero exactly to the end of the duration of the animation now we can export this power value of the interpolation i drop this for a moment link this to an arbitrary input of the group input here create a dot and link this value here in the add drop this value and i go to the group rename this value in shared blend power i can create a dot here select all these nodes Control g now we have the input as an integer as the start next we have the integer of the duration and next we have the shared blend power tap to exit and this is our new group node called get shape factor the result attribute is the factor and is a float number now that we have this group node we can use it in the factor of the first mixing and setting all the rest of the factor to zero we can see the first effect of interpolation between the first curve and the second curve and voila this is the first curve the base curve and this is the first of the collection and you can see if I select the base curve and go through the frame so you can see the correct smoothing between the first curve and the second and you can see the debug curve influence here if you remember the annotation we have the correct ramp while evaluating these values of the factor while the animation of the first curve or the first mixing now I hide the annotation now that we have the first debug curve here we can see select this node Control h Control h we can duplicate this node because now we need to interpolate from the first to the second curve so if i use the same start and duration values here and here and link the same shared blend power here and link the factor to the second mixing you can see a bad result here because we have immediately a mixing values to the second curve and not passing through the first first curve why this because at the same time in this mixing and this mixing we have the value that goes from zero to one overlapped to each other for the first and the second mixing and we don't want this we want to delay this factor a little bit between this mixing and this mixing and you can see this by this debug curve if i duplicate this another time and link the same base position max amplitude and the back with the same resolution link the new factor and set here the second curve index one i can create dot here if i join these two curves together and link these to the general ge join geometry of the switching you can see now the double curves for the debug this is the curve for the first curve so the first mix factor and these second curve for the second mix and the second debug curve and you can see the overlapping value from 0 to 1 of the influence factor while mixing the position of the base curve through the curves of the collection and we don't want this we want to have a delay so to have a delay we need to go inside this get shape factor and in the group input we need to add a new float value a shared delay that I decided to create like a 
fraction of the entire duration of the animation. So this is not an absolute value, but it's a relative value. So zero equal no delay. One is equal to 100 frames of delay. To do this, we need to multiply this shared delay by what? The duration itself, the maximum duration. So if we have a zero multiplied by duration is a zero. If we have one multiplied by duration, we have duration delay. We switch these, press H to collapse. And if we want to have a delay, we need to calculate for security reason the seal of this value to get the minimum delay of one frame. If I set a shared delay with a little number and one if I have a perfect one value. Now I can add to the start of the animation what this value and I need to add this value to be sure that the second curve and the other curves will have a start of the animation delayed, okay, with a delay frames. Now if I link these to these, press H to collapse like this, we have these two nodes, we can press Ctrl J F2, delay animation. Now we can go out from this group node and export this shared delay to the entire group input of our group node and move this blend power up to the debug and the shared above the debug. We can duplicate this group input to be able to manage in a better way the entire workflow. Start, duration, shared power and shared delay. Now we have a no delay set here but if I increase this value to 0.5 you can see all the animation starts not exactly to one but starts here in the middle after 0.5 multiplied 100 frames okay so starts from here but always starts with the same delay for each curve and we don't want this effect we want to delay only the second curve in relationship between the first. So we want to pass the output of the delayed start of the first node here to the second. In this way, I can start with a start animation. Next, from this output, I have a delayed start value. That is the new start animation for the second group node. And to do this, we can enter in this group node, add a new delayed start we can use for our animation and to do this we need to export from the same group not only the factor but also the delayed animation so we can export the original start animation that is not a problem because next we will use it in a little other feature of the entire workflow and the delayed start of the animation these values are the start and this is an integer number that is the delayed start now from the outside of this part we have the same start for the first uh, curve it's obvious but here we don't want to link the start we want to link the delayed start of the previous group node and now you can see if i press ctrl h to better see the result of this uh, workflow if i turn Turn back to one. I have no animation until frame 50. Next, I have the animation of the first curve, and here at the 100 we have starting effect on the second curve okay and you can see the delay effect the interpolation between one curve to the other the first and the second but you can see two things one is we don't need to have a delayed time for the first curve because we want to start the animation when we set the start frame of the entire modifier so we don't want to use the share the delay in this first group node of the first curve so in this way we can start from the frame we set here so if i set 10 for example we have no animation until the frame 10 next we have the first animation and after 50 frame we have the initial factor of the second curve okay the second thing is that we have two delay between the curve and this is a, a bad result while passing through the first curve and the second curve 
curve you can see these in this point we want to have a smooth animation between the curves and to do this we need to decrease uh, this uh, shared delay so decreasing the shared delay you can see the overlapping of the curves between these two shapes and you can see a smoothed interpolation between the first and you can see the shape we go through the first shape but before the one influence of the first mixing we already have the influence of the second and the mixing position of these two notes give us not a perfect entire first curve but it starts to go to the second curve now you can see if i increase or decrease the shared power i call it the shared because it affects all the curves on my collection but if i set a value like this you can get a weird effect so you can see an ugly result here is not a perfect solution because we need to have a more smoothed interpolation like this and uh, a smoothed overlapping between the curves so the best value is where you have the starting point of the factor exactly in the middle of the previous so if i set a delay like this for example okay in this point you have the perfect interpolated effect between the first and the second curve without hard segment on the shapes now that we have this result we can easily duplicate these values these nodes ctrl shift d to make the same same linked values we can move these uh, nodes here i can duplicate another time this value forgot it start i can drop it set this to node f i can link these values here and link the delayed of the previous to the next uh, node the same here perfect this is the third curve debug and the fourth uh, curve debug we can easily create dot here i linked all the correct uh, attributes uh, to the input socket of the debug curve we can join these together and join these together link these uh, to the true value of the debug and this is the result we can create these dots here and create the last debug nodes for the fifth curve linking the delayed start here linking the base position the max amplitude the width the resolution join these together and use this result here in the switch ctrl h ctrl h and set for for the last curve and you can see now we have a complete base for the interpolation because if i move the frame from the first to the last i have a completed transition okay last thing we need to link the correct factor to the mixing node to set the correct position of our control points and for for the last is this now if i turn back to one and see the result we have here the five uh, debug curves and if i move the frame you can see the correct interpolation between all the five curves and you can see the correct overlapping in time and you can increase or decrease the delay of the entire curves so if we want to have a sharpen effect between the curves you can decrease the delay the shared delay and this is the effect if you want a more smoothed effect so more duration for the animation it's obvious i can set start to one to see the animation from the frame one you can increase the shared delay like this but keep in mind you don't have to exaggerate because otherwise you can have this effect okay so the effect like this because we have not enough overlapping between the curves and this is the result if we decrease the values you have an effect like this maybe it could be useful uh, in an animation of uh, thunders or be between two lamps 
okay, uh, like uh, Frankenstein Junior film or whatever. Now, if you want to have more control between the curves, we can go here and set the value like um, these, for example, it can be good enough to have a good result of the animation. But what if I want to control the delay, the influence and the blend power of each single curve? Nothing hard. We need to add lots of attributes here in the modifier. So I will create as soon as possible. OK, I created all these attributes. So the label curve one, two, three, four, five delay influence and blend power one, two, three, four and five. So now we need to use these values in our workflow to do this. We need to change this get shape factor, adding the specific delay, the influence and the blend power. Now, the easiest part is the influence because uh, for the influence of the factor of the mixing, we can easily multiply this result by this influence value. Press H and use this for the factor. And this is the influence. So we need to link the influence one here, the influence two here, three, four, and control shift alt right drag between these influence five to the influence. We can set one. We can use the subtype factor for each of these influence type to have a better visualization of the progress bar of these attributes and set one for all the curves. And why does it work? It works because if we show the annotation and go here, you can see that if I want to ignore and skip the entire curve from the evaluation, you can just set a zero to the mix node, always zero to the mix node, and you can bypass the entire positions of that curve. So in this case, the flow of the data goes in this direction always. And if I want to always skip this curve, I just need to set zero to this mix and have this behavior. So this is why I multiply the influence of each curve by the values of the factor calculated before. In the meantime, I linked the delay and the blend power to the nodes socket. After the influence, we have the delay. So the delay is uh, very easy to include inside this uh, workflow because uh, we only need to get this shared delay and add the specific delay of the curve and next uh, use it in this multiply value. I can use the H to collapse this node and the same uh, operation with the blend power. So we can get the shared blend power and add the specific blend power value before link these to the rest of the workflow. We can press Ctrl J, F2, power of animation, exit from the group node. Now you can see we have a zero in the shared delay and we can manipulate the delay of the second curve and the third, the fourth and the fifth will follow the delay of this chain. But what if I want to unlink the next curve in relation to the previous delay of the curve? So it's easy. We need to create from the second curve, not for the first, because the first is directly linked to the base curve and we cannot unlink the first curve. We can add other Boolean attributes, linked delay to move the attributes in the correct position of the modifier. So link delay 5, 4, 3 and 2. Set one for all these for now go to the get shape factor whatever you want enter and add after the delay the boolean operator linked delay exit link the correct linked delay but the first third the fourth and the fifth and with a simple switch, choose the correct integer start frame of the animation for each curve. This way I can manipulate the correct delayed or not delayed start of the animation for that curve. If I want the previous delayed start, I link this to the true, otherwise I want the false and use these for the starting of the new delayed animation. In this way I can press Ctrl J 
today I have to link the feature. I can move this a little bit. I can have more control between the effect of the delay of the curves with the next and previous. So in this moment, if I increase this second curve, you can see all the subsequential curves linked move their animation with the second. But if I turn off the fourth, for example, you can see I move the second and the third is linked. You can see that is linked, but the fourth has the own delay and the fifth follow the fourth because it's linked and you can easily move its own delay and move the fourth and the fifth together if you need. Now we set all to zero to use only the shared delay for all the curves and link all the curves to the first. I set a generic delay here to have a good animation of the curve like this and you can see the result. Now last part of this tutorial is the looping. So if I want to loop this animation you can see I I need uh, just need to add uh, from this uh, duration from uh, this entire animation the delay factors multiplied by the duration to get uh, the correct uh, final frame of the animation before starting a new cycle and to do this we can easily go outside this uh, node go to the upper part of the group input and add two attributes one is the boolean where we want to use the loop and another is a flow value of loop offset it is always a, a fraction of the entire duration from zero and for this uh, we need to calculate the total amount of frames in the entire animation so 100 plus the specific delay of the curves multiplied by the duration of the animation. Furthermore, we need to add in our get shape factor two attributes. One is the loop boolean value and another load that is the total duration of the animation. This is very important. So outside this node, we can finally select all these group input nodes to press uh, ctrl h ctrl h and here we need the entire duration of the animation so we need to add the group input take the share delay add the delay 1 h shift d add the delay 2 the same for the 3 the delay 4 and the delay 5 multiply the duration by this uh, sum of a factor and add to the original duration the entire amount of delay. We need to add one because we don't want to start another cycle of animation exactly on the final frame of the first animation. We want to have a gap of one frame to not have an overlapping issue. And finally, we also need to add here an adding operation with the loop offset to delay a little bit the animation if we need. We can select all these nodes, Ctrl G, to create a group. I renamed all these attributes correctly. I export the value here, but there is a problem. Uh, there is a problem because the shared delay is not a specific delay for one curve, it is a factor that affects all the curves together at the same time. So instead of having here an adding operation with only one value of the shared delay, we need to multiply this shared delay by all the curves we have in our collection. So to do this, we need to add a geometry attribute here called instances, go out, link the instances of the collection of our curves. And inside these, we need to calculate with a domain size in a domain of instances, the instance count and multiply this value by the shared delay. Next, we can use Use this value to add the other values of delay not before i can press h move this a little bit and now it's correct for the input the name the correct name is duration now we have the correct duration of the entire animation one limit of this uh, uh, node i'm here to tell you you have to keep in mind that uh, with this workflow i ignore if the linked delay check is turned on or off for each 
each curve. So keep in mind this uh, particular limit. If you need, use this uh, loop offset uh, to tweak the cycle and the loop effect uh, of the animation. Okay, I saw this. Uh, there is a problem here. This is correct share delay multiply by the number of instances so the number of curves and add the loop delay and the other delay multiply by the duration add to itself add the one and export the entire duration of the animation now that we have this duration we can link these in mix node like this we can select this group input ctrl h and move it here now to create the loop we need to go inside the this get the shape factor and instead of using the frame the single frame we need to use the classical method and technique of uh, the modulo so i get uh, the frame i subtract the start of my animation so the initial frame of my animation to always get a value here starting from zero in the exact moment when i want to have the animation to start and if this is is less than zero I want a switch here choosing the correct integer frame and if I have values before zero so before the animation I want to export zero from this switch otherwise I want to have the result of this subtracting so this is subtracting that starts from zero in the exact moment where the animation starts module what the entire pack of duration of the animation and link this to the false so from this output i get always values from zero to the maximum duration of my animation and each time i have a frame that's subtracting the start so 200 okay minus 100 i have a package of a frame equal to the duration the module will get the value of zero so the rest of the, the division by the modulo operator and if i have zero from here i have the starting of a new animation so we have here zero and then one two three four frame etc but we don't want to start always from zero we want to start from the zero add the start the original start of the entire animation and use these as the frame we want to use inside our workflow so if i select all these and move this a little bit press h g to move move this a little bit h h i collapse this switch because i leave here the default value of zero and the same here if i don't change in my tutorial or my project the default value of zero in these kind of nodes i collapse the node in this way if i want to start on frame 10 i have the first animation on the frame 10 until the end of the animation so this one 171 frame and because the entire duration of the animation is 171 subtract 10 okay so 161 in this frame you can see the effort of the entire factor of all the curves go from one value of the mix so one of the mix factor here for all of these to zero so so it starts again from zero and I have a second animation. I can show you these if I decrease the value of the frame to 20 for example so you can see i have an animation until the frame 42 and from the 43 so the 44 i have another animation and so on another animation and another and another and if i press play you can see the first the second the third and so on always playing the animation and if i want to have a delay added to this offset i can increase this offset and you can see if i increase by uh, 0.5 value here i have 10 frame of delay so 20 multiplied by 0.5 so in this case i have 10 frame the first animation until here 43 and next after 10 frame i have 
another cycle of animation and I can control the gap between the animation cycles. Now we have the loop uh, check that we need to use here. So to do this, we have a loop attribute. We can link this in a switch, change this in an integer, relink these, drop the node, move these a little bit. And if I want to use the loop information, I need to have this output to this switch. Otherwise, I want to use the original frame value. And finally, we want to use this output as the input of the entire workflow. In this case, we have no loop here. And in the frame 61, we don't have other animations. Press H. We can select all these nodes, Ctrl J, F2, loop feature. Now we can exit from this group node and this is the entire workflow of the tutorial. If you need to add other curves in your workflow because you need to define other specific delay influence and blend power and linked delay check, you just need to take this node here, one for getting the correct factor and the curve position of the curves, the node of the debug system if you want to have the debug information of the interpolation here, duplicate all these nodes and link with the correct attributes. Furthermore, you need to add here in the node group that we can call get total duration. You need to go inside this node, add another input attribute here and add another add node mathematical operation here. Don't worry about the total count of these instances because uh, it will calculate in, in an automatic way thanks to this domain size node. Now if I go to the layout and you can see my curve here, if I uncheck in the modifier the reset children, you can see the correct uh, interpolating animation between all the five points in my space, okay? And if I set the loop with no repeating, I forgot to link the loop attribute to each of these so I need to link the loop the loop the loop the loop and so on for each of these group. Okay, now in the layout, if I go here in the viewport, you can see the animation and you can see I have 200 frames, but you can see the repeating of the animation between the curves with a perfect interpolated effect. And you can manage the duration of the entire animation if you want to have more speed or less, have or not the loop, etc. It's obvious if you want to have a material for your object you just need to add after the loop a new attribute for the material call it material add a new material and in the modifier set the correct material here in the geometry node add a set material only to the base curve not the result of the debug curves it's important and set the correct material not from here but from the group input so shift alt drag I I want to use the material in the material. Let's control H. This is the setting of the material. We can select all these nodes. Control J F2 set interpolated position. Select these, Control J F2, set material, and we can also set the curve radius with a value depending on the spline parameter in which we can get the factor of the spline. We can use this factor in a map range to better control the output values from 0 to 1 to 1 and 0 0.2 for example linking this result to the radius of the curve we can select all these nodes ctrl j f2 curve radius next we can transform this curve to mesh using a circle curve as a profile check the fill caps link these to the geometry to set the material decrease the radius of your mesh to 0.1 for example in the same section we can create a UV map for our purpose and I remember you to use a capture attribute on the base of the geometry and another capture attribute on the profile of the curve that we used for the profile get the spline parameter to get factor because we want to save in a combined XYZ vector 
factor, the x and the y values, getting the factor for both of these curves and next we can store this information in a new attribute called uv map linking this node between these two nodes the curve to mesh and the set material so link the geometry here and the geometry here and this is the result i have a material for this whip that you can use in my project on my gumroad page select all these nodes ctrl j f2 uv map move it a little bit increase a little bit the radius of my curve press play and you can see the correct interpolated uh, animation of the curve between all the curves of my collection and I can change the points of my curves and if I move the control points of my curve the entire interpolation of the base curve changes at the same time if you want to, to use more curves you have just to add other curve inside this collection rename it in a correct way to get a correct sequence of curves inside your interpolated system if you want to have a detail delay influence and blend power keep in mind to add some other attributes inside the group input of this modifier i suggest you to use this show debug because it's very helpful in the initial part of your project it's obvious and this was the tutorial thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like it please leave a comment or check a like if you like what I'm doing please subscribe to my channel and check the bell icon to get all the notification of the new posted videos you can create this project from scratch or you can download it from my gamer page and see you to the next tutorial bye